Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show. Today we are back to talk about some of the flashbacks that came out today, um, what you can kind of do in the store to acquire these players and... Um, just kind of go through some of them and what you can kind of do, um, maybe not during this particular time, but um, when uh, promos do come around, um, just turning things that are less valuable into more valuable things. Uh, we'll get more into that as the next promo comes. Thankfully, I was able to get into that a little bit um, the first evening and make a considerable amount of coins and have been going up ever since then. Uh, but... Just to get things kicked off, let's look at Tony Jefferson. There were eight players that came out today. He is not going to be one that I would recommend whatsoever. He is pretty much a sub um, nickel and dime linebacker pretty much at this point. Definitely does not have the speed that you want covering your back end. Does have a nice hit power though, but definitely way too expensive for what he is worth. Just kind of looking at players based on what their value is kind of on the market. Emmanuel Sanders is the next person we're going to be looking at, has the 83 speed, has a lot better route running than a Golden Tate does. Golden Tate comes with those chemistries or abilities, excuse me. So I have been using him and kind of testing those out. I kind of have appreciated him to be perfectly honest. It's just kind of fun to have um, that ability already in the game and not have to pay extra for it. Um, probably wouldn't recommend a Sanders. His speed will be um, kind of art out, um, done very, very quickly. And um, his route running could be helpful, but, be, but being at 5'11 probably isn't going to be the best for you either. Next man up, Marvin Jones. Very interesting. Definitely not a top-end speed guy, but someone who could definitely go up and get the ball with that 89 spec catch. You are not seeing that on cards right right now. Excuse me. Um, and his deep route running does look magnificent as well. So someone you could definitely test out running those corner routes. And if you're getting hit by someone, he could probably still catch the ball for you as well, especially with that 85 jump uh, and being six foot two. Next man we are going to be looking at is Sheldon Rankins. Uh, quite a bit slower than what you would necessarily want. His power move is actually pretty solid. Um, not someone you can get the best abilities on necessarily, so would probably wait on him as well. You can get the intermediate ones with 85, but um, definitely wanting to get that up to 90 and with his speed probably would be a no-go, especially with him being almost 100,000 coins. Next man up, Terrell Suggs. Definitely does not have the speed off the edge. I think he actually fits best as a 4-3 um, defensive end, to be perfectly honest. Not even necessarily a 3-4 outside linebacker because of his speed. Um, just very low marks on that, to be perfectly honest. Gets that 85 power move, but again, with him being an outside linebacker, not what you necessarily want. But um, like I said with Marcus Hunt, um, Probably not the perfect comparison, but they're both just always in the right place at the right time. Just must be something with their play rec height or um, some other attribute that we don't necessarily see, but they're able to always be in the right place at the right time. And we did switch over to the 87 overalls with the Terrell Suggs. Um, and I did note earlier that um, Sheldon Rankins being 100,000 coins was quite a bit, but everyone is up considerably in the market. Just noting that um, things have not hit their decrease and probably will not until something major comes out and people will start pulling a considerable amount of packs or better players come at each position, and that isn't necessarily coming. Um, we do know that more, Mutt superstars are going to be coming out. Those were leaked by Mutt Leaks. I would definitely follow him on Twitter. He'll be releasing stuff even before um, Good Morning Madden or um, their Twitter is able to get things out most of the time as well. But Brandon Brooks is up next, 87 overall. Really wish he um, or they filled um, this position with a left guard instead of a right guard. We are very much filled up at that position, but definitely a great uh, pass blocker playing for the Eagles now. So if you want to power him up and do that, all of these players do have those uh, power ups. So if they have played for other teams, you are able to go out and get them. Thankfully, all the leads did have that this year. 
And getting down to the two most interesting players that came out today with the flashbacks, we have 87 overall, Andrew Luck. I really am not sure where that speed necessarily came from. I guess it is a flashback to a few years ago, and he was a tremendous athlete coming out of college, but still don't necessarily see that. And if that was a flashback to a few years ago, I don't understand why his throw power is so low as well so um, those two things well I guess the throw power is a little bit messed up the speed makes a little more sense for that dated of a card but he definitely meets all the thresholds for this early in the game just not going to have the cannon that you might want um, he's going to potentially get dated but if you just want someone to go out and compete with right now he's actually a very serviceable quarterback just not have the cannon that um, Patrick Mahomes has, but is a little bit more mobile. Um, I guess he has better play action, but that doesn't help nearly as much as it should, to be perfectly honest. And we have one more left to look at, and then we'll look at a little bit of what we can get in the stores. And the eighth man we're going to be looking at is Jason McCourty. Uh, brother Devin um, and him got the Super Bowl championship ring last year for the Patriots so that was uh, very exciting so um, for them necessarily and he does come out with that 87 speed so one of the best um, at that he is quite usable at this point to be perfectly honest faster than Patrick Peterson matches right up with Marshawn Lattimore with that speed and ability to move around so Really one of the best cornerbacks in the game at this point. And if you really like the McCourty Twins, it's a perfect time to go out and get them both because they both can play in your team and play very well for you. Uh, his brother, our twin brother, I think twin, um, is a free safety. So also he's one of the best free safeties in the game right now. So that's a great fit for you also. Uh, but let's get into the story. Okay, for the store, um, things have went away. There will be no more tokens, badges, those things for elite uh, gold and silver. So those players um, are now pretty much being either used in the um, exchange pack to just keep going up a level. That has been very fruitful, especially for me earlier on. Um, I can't remember the ones that I did get n at this point in time. Um, I know three of them were very valuable. Um, give me one second. I think I passed that along. Um, uh, Jalen Ramsey and DeAndre Hopkins were the main ones that I had gotten. Uh, there's obviously lower ones down the chain that are very valuable. Um, but yeah, that has been very successful um, for myself. And even last year, it was a really good option. Um, so that is what you should really do with those lower players since tokens are not necessarily in the game. Um, also, 74 and 79, if you look on Mutthead right now, are actually the best things to um, kind of use for training. So if you have a 71 or a 72, I would definitely use that for the exchange set to go up. But if you have a 73 or 74, I would probably exchange that, exchange that, excuse me, because it's not worth selling because you lose that with tax and you can come into the store and just flip these cards. Um, these cards at this point are more valuable than their normal 77s or 78s. Same thing for 84 and 85 for the most part. Um, 84s and 85s have kind of balanced out, um, but 77s and 78s are definitely the ones you want to look at. Um, this is something that I've been doing since last year just looking at the lowest overall players that come out when um, promos do come out they're usually the most valuable if you want to gamble you can go for the higher up ones but the lower end is definitely where I usually shoot for um, it can be very beneficial for you and since um, training is the currency this year instead of um, looking at other currencies you can just go out and get other training from less valuable cards um, and then use them in this training set um, it's been very valuable I definitely would go for these I don't like to gamble on certain things unless I know it's uh, better than odds chance that I'm going to be getting it back um, doing that with other packs doing that with other things aren't necessarily a win but when you're able to go in and get training at a good value and then use it here um, even if you're wanting to clear your binder and get more valuable cards you can come here and use 
use that. Um, GutFox has a tremendous spreadsheet that goes over the training values and he has broken down um, exactly what he does um, for this. The thing that he does that I did not think of and I definitely want to note this um, for him is that he um, exchanges the 78s and he just um, goes in and quick sells those and then uses the 77s um, to sell off. That is not something that I did think to use, so if it is not my thought at all, definitely do not want to take um, that as my own. Um, he's definitely great to watch on Twitch. Um, the whole den is very helpful for... Um, tips and everything you would potentially need so definitely go and check him out and he can definitely get things out a little bit quicker for you his full-time job is doing this and mine is definitely part-time so definitely love um, experiencing all these things but cannot get out and get involved nearly as much as I would necessarily want to um, but yeah again no tokens so definitely use your cards for training and then potentially get flashbacks if you would want those but the most valuable thing at this point are those 77s to 78s um, and definitely do not sell them at the lowest price they could go at go into um, the auction house look at 77 75 to 79s and then also look at mutt hero um mutt superstars excuse me 75 to 79 because that's all that it sorts by and then you have the opportunity to see what they would potentially sell at so that is a great opportunity for you to do that as well um, but that is what i have for right now um yeah excited flashbacks are back mutt superstars are coming and um, when promos come, I will definitely help you get involved with them a little earlier on. At this point, this method is not really that good. Um, actual CC, Popular Stranger, um, after Gut Fox put out videos as well, so I don't think it's necessary to go over um, things all that explicitly, but just wanted to pass that along to you and definitely go check them out if you want things broken down a little bit more and potentially with a spreadsheet as well. But that is what we have for today. I wish you all the very best and take care. Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rantain channel. Keep coming back for more mad knowledge. That will be consistent videos up every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish and Rantain. Take care and much love, everybody.